Good morning, guys. It is January the 2nd at about 9.14, and um, I literally woke up maybe an hour ago, got ready, and I started my devotional, and um, I've got to clean the whole entire house. It is a disaster. I'm just, oh, it makes me very anxious. I don't do well in messes. I do, I do okay if like everything is in its place and the floor is dirty, but if the floor is dirty and everything is not in its place, I don't know. I just, whew. So this, um, my devotional this morning, it really, really helped me um, to kind of lose that, that heaviness that's on my chest and just to focus about what really matters. And so I wanted to share that with you. So this is my Jesus calling and um, I'll read you um, what it says. It says, relax in my healing presence. As you spend time with me, your thoughts tend to jump ahead to today's plans and problems. Bring your mind back to me for the refreshment and renewal. Let the light of my presence soak into you as you focus your thoughts on me. This I equip you to face whatever the day brings. This sacrifice of time pleases me and strengthens you. Do not skip on, you, on our time together. Resist the clamor of task waiting to be done. You have chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from you. So I feel like that really spoke to me today because did I really want to read my Bible this morning? No. I know that's awful, but I really wanted to just get things done and um, and just hurry because I have a busy week ahead. But what's more important is sitting at the feet of Jesus and looking to Him um, for all my answers and for Him to, to give me that peace and that renewal and that strength that I need and the grace that I need to get through each and every single second of the day. Um so let me read, it's Psalms 10, oh, I'm sorry, it's Luke 10, 39 through 42. And this is a, you probably, you, you may have heard this. Um, it's about Mary and Martha, their sisters, and um, they're so fun. But anyways, let me read it real quick. It says, um, her sister Mary sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he had taught. But Martha was distracted by the big dinner she was preparing. She came to Jesus and said, Lord, does it, doesn't it seem unfair to you that my sister just sits here while I do all the work? I can hear her saying that, so I try to talk to her, talk like that. Let me try again. Lord, doesn't it seem unfair to you that my sister just sits here while I do all the work? Tell her to come help me. But the Lord said to her, my dear Martha, you are worried and upset over all these details. There is only one thing worth being concerned about. Mary has discovered it, and it will not be taken away from her. So I really, I really love that. And while I was reading that, um, here's just a little wisdom that was passed on to me, and I'll pass on to you. Um, so whenever you moms, whenever you moms or girlfriends or um I don't know who you are or where you are in your life, but whenever you are cleaning the house or you're, or you're doing whatever and something of somebody's getting your way, like um, my husband's shoes or my kid's shoes or their toys or whatever it may be, and I, I start to be like, can't they just put it up? Stop yourself right then and there, and you start praying for them. So somebody told me to do that. And it, it, it helps. Like, I'll be cleaning and I'll see Jack's shoes in the floor or Finn's baseball, everything in the floor. And instead of being like, gosh, I just wish he wouldn't do that, let that be a second to pray over your children, your husband, your whoever lives in your home and just pray and thank God for them and for their life and, and just pray that you can be a blessing to them today. So I just wanted to share that with you and I hope that you guys have a good day. I have so much to do, but I'm just going to rest in the Lord and uh, turn on my praise music and get it done. So I will see you guys um, another time.